How to Be Wealthy in Life by Following Your Dreams If you want results in your life, then it all comes down to action. Seriously. Doing nothing, making no effort, yet expect to get results and be successful is just not going to happen. When on a passionate mission, you will turn up whether feel like it or not, here is a question for you. Do you act on ideas? Do you have plan to how to be wealthy in life and to build a business opportunity? Can you provide a service to help people? If you are sitting there with all these thoughts and ideas going through your head saying maybe one day I will give it a go probably means that day will never come. This is the reality here is a story about a person acting on an idea, in fact a dream. This is about a woman who grew up in Phoenix, Arizona. Stephanie got her bachelor's in English back in 1997, married her childhood friend at 21 years old and had three children. She always had a thing about wanting to write but had no experience. After her first child, she wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. Her other job was a receptionist. Here is a common life story, you have someone who wants to write but doesn't. She loves her life as a mother. A T 33 years old, a story idea, comes to her in a dream. She wakes up, takes action, and writes her first short story about 10 pages. Let's be clear. Stephanie has no authority as a writer. She had never written anything before, nothing had ever been published. Nobody sees a writer in her and nobody cares. Despite this, Stephanie writes these 10 pages anyway. This is a great example of might, power, and possibility. This is playing big on the possibilities. When you play big, you never ever know what is in store for you. Stephanie liked the story on the 10 pages so she wrote some more until it transformed into a complete novel. She was writing for enjoyment with no intention to publish however, she was persuaded to send her novel to a literature agent someone found on the internet. She goes out to 15 agents, 5 correspondences become unanswered, 9 come back rejected, not good enough, no chance, no way. Still nobody cares except her sister. On her last response, something positive, point eight publishers, competed for the rights to publish the book back in 2003, and she signed a $750,000 for a three-book deal. The books were about vampires and titled Twilight. With now over 100 million copies sold globally, the annual earnings exceed $50 million. What are you thinking right now? Are you saying, yeah, yeah, yeah? This sort of thing never happens to me. This was what was running through a stay-at-home mom. She had no vision to be the next Harry Potter woman, when are you going to stop listening to the fear voice in your head? The one that say this will never happen to me. Stephanie Myers nearly didn't write those first ten pages. She nearly didn't send her book to a literature agency, why don't people act on ideas? Why do most people go to their grave with music still within them? Why do people who feel they want to do something feel inspired and in touch with their dream on one day, but in defeat by day three? There are a number of different reasons for this. See if you resonate with any of these, giving up your days to deal with what is urgent as opposed to what matters. The crush of being overwhelmed too much to do. Feeling insecure and full of self-doubt. Being fearful. The thought of failure, just playing it safe. You are closer to reaching your dream than you may realize. Stephanie could have focused on urgent issues and could have taken her away from producing those 10 pages. She could have felt overwhelmed. She could have just played it safe, can you see how a close thing this was? This is a how close you could be to achieving something big. So what is stopping you? Take action and make it a daily habit to work on your dream. Start today. We can all aspire to achieve better things. It may be a case of changing direction and doing something you have never done, but always dreamt of. I'm helping people to think positively about the future and how best use their time. I believe that people can find a way within to pursue an idea and a vision. We all have the ability to take control of our lives, but many just don't know it or know how.